Hey everyone, this is just going to be a video of me going through all of the 2x2 methods that I know of. I only know of 8 methods, and I'm sure there are more, but these are, I think, just the main ones that you should know if you're into 2x2 speed solving. So the first one is the simplest one, just LBL. You just make a layer using intuition. Then you learn 7 OLL cases for the top. And then two permutation algorithms, one for adjacent swap and one for a diagonal swap. This is adjacent swap. And so that's only a total of nine algorithms. The next method is the Ortega method. I already made a video on this, so I won't really explain this too much. But basically, first you make a face of one color instead of a layer. Then you do the one of the seven orientation algs. And then you just permute both layers, which is PBL. And there are five of uh, five PBL algorithms. And then we have the method that I use mainly. It's called CLL, where it starts out like LBL. You just make a first face using intuition. And then you go and solve permutation and orientation at the same time using one of 42 algorithms. Uh, recognition is through something called color recognition where in this case I would see that these two are the same color and these two are opposite colors so I know to do this algorithm to solve everything at once and uh, currently the world record has been set using this method next we have the EG method which is 120 algs which seems like a lot, but 40 of those are CLL algorithms, so if you already know CLL, then you only have 80 more algorithms. And a lot of 2x2 two two algorithms are very short. And also, a lot of people don't learn uh, a, like a third of it, and I'll explain why in a little bit. Uh, basically, this method combines a little bit of Ortega and CLL. So basically, you make a first face and then you would go and permute and orient the top layer at the same time as you permute the bottom layer using one of uh, well it depends on how many you know you could do it using 80 algorithms or you can go all the way and use the 120 algorithms this case is so there are three sections of EG we have the CLL section EG1 and EG2. CLL, of course, is just when you have the bottom layer is already solved, and then you just permute and orient the top layer. EG1 is when you have an adjacent swap in the bottom. There are 40 of those algorithms. And then EG2 is when you have a diagonal swap on the bottom. A lot of people don't learn EG2 because you might have noticed earlier in the video, uh, if you get a case where on the bottom layer you have a diagonal swap, like these two need to be switched, instead of learning 40 new algorithms, you could always just do R2, F2, R2, and then you would get a CLL case. This next method called SS has 60, 60 algorithms without in counting reflections. And so the first step that you usually plan during inspection is just to make three quarters of a face. And after that, you would use one of the algorithms to solve this last piece at the same time as you orient the rest of the top layer. And then you would do PBL. So I solve that and this layer is oriented, then I can just do the PBL algorithm. This next method, called SOAP, was invented by my friend Justin Jaffrey. It has only 30 uh, unique algorithms, but it uses 16 of the SS algorithms and 7 of the Ortega algorithms. Uh, for this method, it's kind of like SS, but instead of making three-fourths of a solid face you you have the option to just do two adjacent edges but you have to make sure that all of the pieces are in the right layer like these are all white stickered pieces and they're all in the bottom layer 
And then you use one of the algorithms to solve these two pieces and then solve the rest of orient the top layer. And then you would do a PBL algorithm. So this method is called the Guimond method. Basically you make three quarters of a face of opposite colors while you make sure that the last piece is in the right layer. And then you do one of 16 algorithms that would orient everything but they would still might be in opposite layers. Like and then you would do the separation step, step where you just bring everything into its correct layer and then you go and permute everything using a PBL algorithm. The last method is called OFOTA which stands for opposite face orient all which pretty much summarizes up the method. You first make a face of opposite colors then you do one of 92 algorithms that orient the top layer as well as bring everything into its correct layer so that all you'd have to do is a PBL algorithm. Then this is solid, solid, then you do PBL. And so that's all the algorithms I know of. If you know of, of a method that I didn't mention here, feel free to post it in the comments and I'll look it up. I'll post links to all of the methods in the sidebar so that you could read more about them. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.